Ja. <lacht> Understand what is a commons and commons itself, it's a polysemous concept. Uh, but as a rule of thumb, I like to say that commons have to have the resource, the rules, and the community. There's no commons without community. And so, in order to take this concept into the urban uh, spectrum, it would be, let's say, a place, an abandoned building, a, a place that has it's not being used at its full that it's reclaimed by our community in order to give it back to the community at large, in order to develop different types of projects inside that allows for a participatory approach. La Silo, it's a, it's a commons, it's an urban commons in the city center of Naples, which uh, was born from an occupation, but it started a process of liberation of the space in order to rent it, to, make, to give it back to the community. And today it's a polyfunctional space for the neutralization of means of production and a spaces of production for the arts and cultures and culture. The history of Naples is very particular and it's filled with uh, social movements and also artistic participation. But Asilo was the one who was the first commons to be reclaimed and to be liberated because we are not talking about the traditional spots or occupations that we have in mind. This is a new institution. And the civic use, in a nutshell, is a right for collective enjoyment. From normally in mobile property that can happen and that can be uh, translated into different types of uh, rights of enjoyment, for example, and which it was born from the use of uh, agricultural lands. So we can have the right of hunting, grazing, sowing, in property that can belong to the state or that can belong to private. So the innovation happened when the community decided to take this old institution and modernize it and bring it today to the, to the urban sphere. So this uh, right was reclaimed and regained in these abandoned spaces, these abandoned buildings, in order to give it back to the community. But how did it happen? So these spaces were mainly abandoned or being underused by the, even though it started as an occupation, by the occupation, uh, the, close, the doors were open in order for the, for the city to regain uh, the right of use of this space. And through the different assemblies and through different methods of participation, uh, there was the articulation of the declaration of use of this space. So today, as we just witnessed, <laughs> uh, this space is used every day for the production of art and culture. Fort Beck as a European project um, has allowed for not only shed some light on the activities that are, being, that are happening within the commons in Naples, but it also allows them for uh, the articulation of projects in a different level. It, it brings uh, financing for projects, which is important because as commons, it means in the case of uh, Naples, they are informal realities that cannot access funding from other types of projects, either from European Union or for, from the Italian government or even at the, at, uh, at the municipality level. It, it gives to the community some funding in order to develop some projects among which we have a, a, a communication effort in order to, to start a process of self-narrating what is happening inside of the spaces in order to make it uh, public, to render it more accessible. It is also, it, we also are working with the participatory architecture. So we have all these uh, initiatives that um, by the articulation of the Orbach project, we have been able to also get together the, the network of commons in Naples in order to create uh, not a single voice but to shed some light on all, all the multiplicity of activities and voices that are being multiplied through the efforts of the network.